So I sold everything and moved to Poland. Yeah, no joke. I'm here. Trevin Poland is officially Trevin Poland. And I ended up selling my car, giving away all of my stuff, and coming here with two checked bags. So why did I move to Poland? Well, the story doesn't start for me in Poland, and it doesn't even start in the USA. It actually starts in a place called Nova Scotia, Canada. What is it? Oh, it's a Trevor. Look at Trevor. <laughs> you see, just like where I'm from in the US, Maryland, you've probably never heard of this small peninsula in Canada. But this is where my mom's side of the family is from. So you might be asking yourself, what does Nova Scotia have to do with me moving to Poland? Well, to me, this is the birthplace of my traveling, the inspiration for many future trips that I took in my life. And I'm lucky enough that my mom wanted to take me to where she was from and show me a bit about her and my French Acadian culture. And I routinely traveled there for about once a year in my youth. And because of that, Nova Scotia is always going to have a place in my heart. So traveling outside the US gave me a different perspective and also just a better knowledge about traveling, learning about new cultures and also being more relaxed with traveling to an entirely different place and so take all of the different travel experiences that i had and four years ago i was flying on a plane for my first time in poland i held no expectations for poland i didn't look at the media to see what they said about poland i didn't even know how to say hello or thank you but yet once i arrived i felt like i was taken in with open arms by my girlfriend her family and really the entire country in a way. It was this foreign culture that seemed so distant compared to my own that was so intriguing. And yet, in many ways, it was a place I understood, respected, and was inspired by. I took a couple pictures of like people back in time, um, like right before and after the war. And it's astonishing just to see them still smiling um, even after the war and stuff. It's really weird. And there's this one picture I'm gonna show where these, these people are standing and they're smiling like in rubble. They're just taking a picture like it's every day and it's crazy. Um, it's kind of moving actually. And after traveling to Poland, I ended up becoming oddly obsessed with Poland. So much so, I actually dedicated this channel just dedicated to Poland. You see, I would return to the States and watch YouTube videos about Poland from an American's perspective, and I barely found any content, so I just decided to make some myself. And this was relatively easy for me to do, because I used to make gaming videos a long time ago, and just like that, the channel was born. But what ended up happening was even cooler. Not only was I able to share our cultural differences, but I was able to learn much more in the process about Poland, more so than if I never made this channel. And I've also been able to meet a lot of people along the way who were inspired by Poland as well. So here I am four years after my first visit and now I'm calling Poland my home and I'm super excited about the future. I have many things that I want to do here so all I can say is just stay tuned. And if you want to stay up to date with the channel then join the discord down below and also if you want to check out my podcast called The Pulsecast where myself and my friend American co-host speak about all topics about Poland also check out the link in the description below. And of course I'll be uploading here soon. Anyways guys I just want to thank those who have helped support me throughout the years whether it was just liking a video commenting i really just want to say that i appreciate you and thank you so much for your support honestly a lot of that support was what helped me move here so from the bottom of my heart thank you